Hey, once you stick around, we're going to be tasting this Mexican whiskey here right after this quick intro. Don't worry, it'll be over before you can say Sierra Norte Oaxacan Yellow Corn Single Barrel Mexican Whiskey. See you in a bit. <music> Bienvenidos de regreso a Whiskey Quest. Mi nombre es Antonio. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do this in Spanish. Uh, what we got here today is another Mexican whiskey. And this is a single barrel from Sierra Norte. It's non shell filtered, no color added, at 45% ABV. And it's made using 85% of the Oaxacan yellow corn strain and 15% malted barley. Uh, for all you whiskey nerds out there, uh, this is bottle barrel number one bottle number 130 of 180 and it's batch number one so there you have it Sierra Norte single barrel this is aged in French oak barrels for around eight to nine months you get this nice amber color going on because of that if you're new to my reviews I usually go through the nose, the taste, and the finish. Then I like to add a little bit of water and see if that opens up the whiskey or not. You never know until you try it. So if that's something you would like to see, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Stick around for more videos. Let's move on with the review. On the nose, on this one, with 85% corn, the first thing you're going to get is corn. But I get like a very sweet candy corn kind of kind of note get that wood notes too vanilla and some sugar in the far back with a little bit of nuttiness too let's move on to the taste cheers first thing that happens at first sip is you get a really nice warm Kind of creamy mouthfeel and it hits you with that that corn sweetness also get some little tiny hints of uh, vanilla and chocolate kind of vanilla chocolate still some nuttiness in there the finish though the finish is on the short side and it's kind of dry and it and it finishes with some charred kind of barrel note that's pretty good so let's add a little bit of water and see what happens with this whiskey here just gonna add a small drop not too much so a while back I reviewed their other whiskey bottle uh, that one was made with the uh, black Oaxacan corn if you haven't seen that video I'll go ahead and link it up for you guys if you want to check that out but it's pretty interesting what they're doing they do mezcal and, and uh, tequila, but because of a shortage of agave, they found themselves having the distillery shut down most of the time. So what the master distiller started to do was experiment with other things. And he taught himself how to distill whiskey, but he wanted to add his own little spin to the whole thing. So what he did, he, he revived the, the strains for the yellow, the black, and the white corn. They were pretty much extinct or going extinct and he gave it to the local farmers and said hey won't you guys plant all of these grow them and then once it's grown I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna buy the whole crop from you guys so that's how he went about that and they have plans of reviving the green the red and the purple uh, corn so that that'll be pretty interesting once they come up with that and each corn is supposed to give uh, each whiskey a different taste profile and honestly it does between this and the black you could taste there's uh, some difference in there so let's move on to the review with some water and see what happened with that on the nose on this one you still get that corn 85% corn is, is gonna be there I don't see I don't see you 
not noticing that really it's very light though and uh, with the water I still get vanillas it's a bit citrusy in the back not as nutty as it was before very very faint let's move on to the taste cheers On the palate, it, it's also very light now. Not too light, but it's, it's lighter than it was before. Uh, right up front, I get wood char, followed by some bitter dark roast coffee kind of note. Finishes it uh, with a bit of a bitter and tangy kind of note but the finish is even shorter than before still dry and there's a little hint of smoke at the very end so my final thoughts on this whiskey here I, I think it was better than the black horn just just by a tiny bit not too much and if you find this for 30 to 35 dollars definitely pick it up it's uh, not a bad tasting whiskey i'd actually recommend this over the black one and one of the subscribers richie you asked where you could pick this up so i'm gonna put it in the description below I'll, I'll put the web address and you can do a quick search and hopefully you can find this in your area so if you found this video interesting and useful why don't you go ahead and give me a thumbs up share it with your friends Drop me a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stick around for more videos. Having said that, salute. See you in the next video. Bye.